Welcome to the Investor Show, giving away another $1,000 today. But more importantly, not just give a person a fish, but teach them to fish. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, everybody gets a little weird. Amazon, Valentine's Day deal. Let's talk about how to partner with Amazon and Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, and at one point this was the biggest company in history, so that, forget me giving you a thousand bucks, you like starting to generate serious cash on your own. So we're launching, this is a little announcement in today's episode of The Investor 16. I'm investing in you, and I'm investing in launching a new test group on how to sell, I'm calling it, for now we'll call it the Amazon Sales Blueprint. Like what's the blueprint? If you saw the other day I had Liz here, she was helping me teach, she flew in from Miami, she did 500 grand last month, 100 grand net selling household items. So there's serious money and there's still money to be made in Amazon. And it's crazy, I've been wanting to launch this test group forever, but I've been kinda, I don't know, what's the word, busy? So let's start out, give somebody 100 bucks. What's the best thing you think to sell on Amazon today, right now? If you could sell one thing on Amazon, what would it be? If you look at the categories of Amazon, we'll pull it up. Pull up the categories of sales on Amazon. What do you think is the biggest category? Actually, I'm gonna do this. 100 bucks, whoever says what gets the correct answer. Biggest category that sells on Amazon. Pull it up here, we'll give you a cheat sheet. 100 bucks, first person to get this. Somebody said baby items, Instapot, phone chargers, gym gear, hundreds of chocolates. Yeah, that's probably what's good to sell on Valentine's Day. But look, just think about it. Christmas, Valentine's Day, Black Friday, late, I mean, they, people just invent reasons to buy stuff. Thank God it's Friday. Hump, you know, what did they call it? Hump, hump, day. hump day is Wednesday. What's Thursday now? If when I see on Twitter, it's like everything is like a little, Throwback Thursday. Buy something. Throwback Thursday. Finally Friday. What's Saturday? What's Monday? Messy Mondays? Melancholy Man Mondays. Mondays. Man Are Crush Monday, Zach? Is that I what you usually have? I don't celebrate that holiday. Zach likes to celebrate that holiday. He, okay. Fire sticks. iPad. You want to stick that there? Shavers. YouTube. Monday Motivation. Okay. I'll come back and look at YouTube in a sec. Yeah, let me pull up YouTube. It's taking a minute. Oh, okay. All right. Clothing. So what's the number one thing that sells? No, just Google. Number one thing that categories that sell on Amazon. Just pull it up on Google. Tablets, flowers, in need of 20 bucks for my girl. Pat Smitty said. TGIM, easy Sundays. Easy Sundays? Is that what people say for Sunday? It's like the song, easy like Sunday. I'm gonna give you another, I wanna do some Amazon trivia because this is crazy. I'm gonna give you a hint, another 100 bucks. How many products sell per second on Amazon? Per second, forget hour, forget per minute. Yeah, just click, uh, nah, just click any of these. Um, da -da 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 -da. Nah, that's the wrong thing to type. Here, let me just put in best selling categories on Amazon. I'll pull it up and not show you guys. Best selling categories on Amazon. Oh, I like this one, the five most profitable product categories for Amazon FBA. I don't know if this article's right, but I'll do this. Let's see if anybody's gonna win this 100 bucks. What do you think's the five most profitable? This says books. What the, f what's wrong with this? Laptop, is this retarded? All the glitters, you know, gems, exercise clothing, electronic. Let's see if anybody said that. Books, all right, here we go. Rishab Sharma, 3617. I'm gonna screenshot it, just write down the name. Rishab Sharma, 3617, I screenshot it. 100 bucks. $100. Now, let's go to the next question. Don't pull this up. Who knows how many products, how many products sold per second on Amazon? This is crazy. This is why I said 
What I'm opening up today is a huge opportunity for you. Huge opportunity. And this, they don't even, I gotta find some updated stats. Put it this way, in 2012, 306 items a second. But that's 2012. That's a long time ago. This is 2016. Let's, we'll use the 2016 stat. Years ago, years ago. How many were purchased per second? Let's see. We got somebody put Dong of Dragons. There we go. Well, wait. Let me not do Instagram again. I got to do a different one. Is YouTube up? I'm going to look at Facebook. 1,000 per second. 306 per second. How do I do get my YouTube up? Oh. Oh, is it just running online? Yes. Oh, there. Pull it up. Don't grab it. Oh, it's right in my videos. Should be on. Don't. Oh, there it is. Push. Yep. All right. Let me pull this up. It says one person is watching. Oh, you have it private. Does it? It says private. That's why you only have one person. We're live on YouTube, just for myself. Da, da, da. We have an audience of one. Now two. Are you watching it over there? Yeah. Did you make it public? Yeah, it's public. Okay, should I say hello? Yeah. <laughs> hello, everybody on YouTube. I was streaming to no people because we... You can rewind to the beginning or just start where we are right now. We're giving away money right now. Are you sure it's better not to just restart Amazon? I mean YouTube, um, because then they get hit with a notification they could actually see. Okay. Watch the numbers, see if they go up. Okay, I'm not going to give away 4,000 a second on Amazon, nope. 400 items, we have 1,300 people watching on Insta. 306, nope. 457, nope. Uh, getting closer. I'm using the 2016 numbers. We're get, I saw someone that had it. Let me look on Facebook or Twitter. Let me look on lowly Twitter. Poor lowly Twitter. I always forget to pay attention to you. Read them out loud, Zach. 25,000 per second? Nope. 400, 1,200, 17,000. No one's getting. Six fifty. What about us? Six hundred. What about us? Did Mike? Isn't that a Michael Jackson song? Seven hundred fifty. One hundred fifty million. Six hundred. Four hundred. Who said six hundred? I've got Jordan V Media. On what? Twitter. Twitter. All right, Jordan V Media. My best. Twenty sixteen. I think they were doing about six hundred sales a second. Obviously, it changes every second, but I'm gonna go with that. Hundred bucks. So let's go through, here's what you gotta know. Hey, have Alec pull up that little diagram we talked about on the phases, because I wanna go off what we wrote out. I forgot to bring it with me. It's the phases of the Amazon. Okay, here's how you make money in the real world. Somebody wrote, who the hell is on YouTube? I believe it or not, a lot of people on YouTube. Yeah, it's, it's, uh... it's, I think you should reset YouTube is my gut. You don't think you should just reset YouTube? I can. It would just, I would have to do Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Oh, it's at the same time? Yeah. Okay. So here's the phases. Partner with the richest person in the world. This is the hardest part. Not really the hardest part, but this is tricky for a lot of people. You have to research and select the product. Like this kind of goes without saying. If you go to business school, which I didn't do, but if you go to Harvard, they teach you the four P's. P, 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 P. Product pricing, uh, promotions, placement. Right here is the crux of your business. If you get this wrong, you're not gonna make any money. How do we select a product? Well, there's a lot of people who have different opinions on this. I've heard, there's people that teach on Amazon. There's, I'm going to give you my experience with products. My experience with products. Number one, let's just go in here. Click on, click on something. Anything. I literally don't care. Just 
We should connect me to this in the future. I think it's better for me to do it. Use Jungle Scout, yes, but I'm giving you more advanced stuff. Software, yes, there's various software tools that are gonna give you, but I'm trying to go more advanced than that. I'm giving, you know, me and my business partner, Alex, have done over a billion dollars in online sales. So I'm giving you what he and I have talked about, what we work on, that's done over a billion dollars. This is not amateur advice. This is like black belt advice, okay? Um, a lot of people teaching have done, you know, a million dollars online or 10 million, but this is 10 figure advice for you. Okay, here we go. Let's just pick a product. I'm gonna not, I'm gonna like close my eyes. Zach, tell me when to move the mouse around. Tell me when to say yes or no. Uh, yes. Okay, this is a uh, like ear, some kind of AirPod case. Now, a lot of people are gonna tell you stuff, and, and there's valid advice on this, that you would look here, how many customer reviews, you would go down to their, there's a bestseller ranking number down here at the bottom on Amazon for every product. Wow, this one's number 12 in electronics. That means in this specific thing, accessories, <laughs> notice it's not electronics, it's electronic, you follow the breadcrumbs, accessories, supplies, audio and videos, headphones, cases. So it's the 12th best selling ca head case. Uh, I mean head case, headphone case. Yeah, head case. There's software that you can use, there's websites you can use to plug it in. Here's how I do things. I do things my own way, different than most people. And you're gonna learn, I'm gonna put a link up. If you wanna get in this new test group, I'm gonna have it for the next five days, I'm gonna put it up and let people get in. I did this for my Airbnb program a week or two ago, 8,700 people went in, training people how to do real estate with Airbnb. I'm basically showing you all these hacks in the modern world, like how to use Shopify, how to make money with a social media marketing agency, like Instagram, how do you turn that into money for yourself by doing marketing for restaurants and doctors. I'm teaching you how to do Airbnb through a home sharing management company. We're talking about how to do an e-com agency. You know what's cool? I launched this e-com agency. When did we close that? Three days ago, Rick? Four days ago? This is crazy. I got my, the course is a four month course. This person has only finished like three days of it. I'm gonna, I got his testimonial here. I got a chat. Just so you know, if you wonder, does this stuff ever work? George Kuz, K-U-Z on Facebook. He's in the private Facebook group. This is for a different thing. This is not for Amazon. Guys, I just closed my first $2,500 a month client for my e-com agency. I just made a video explaining how I was able to do it, but seriously, take Ty's advice and just take action. I couldn't have done it without the test group, and I'm thankful for the training. Hit me up if you guys have any questions. And he posted a picture of the check. He hasn't even formed his LLC. It has a, we probably should cover up his last, I guess I posted that. I posted it to my Snapchat. With, well, he crossed everything else out, but he left his last name. Okay, whatever. More people will know it's real. Um, so to get results, yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, let me just, it's in the video chat. Too. okay. Have Rick print it. Can you print that off the printer? We have a wireless printer. This is how I think about it. Forget everything else for a second. Can I craft a good story? Can I get excited about AirPods? Can I see myself running PPC ads to this? I won't sell anything, no matter what, if I can, I don't think I have a story. Stories sell, never forget that. You know half the reason people like um, Apple? It's not just because of the quality of the computer or the iPhone, it's the story behind it, it's the emotion behind it. When people, there's literally people, I had someone on my um, live call the other day go, Ty, if you're rich, you have to have an iPhone. <clears throat> well, I have iPhones, I think I have like 17 iPhones, I use them for different things. But Apple has literally taken control of the hearts and minds of, bill there's been over two billion iPhones sold, and they've told a story that if you have this iPhone, or an iPhone 10 is even better, woo, you spend 200 more dollars, you have an iPhone 10. Like it's a Ferrari in your pocket. It ain't a Ferrari. It's not like the difference between, you know, difference between a junkie car and a Ferrari is like 400 grand. 
the difference between the best iPhone and the worst cell phone is like a thousand bucks at the most, okay? But they've weaved this story and people literally line up. So when you get into product development and research, as you go, for those of you who are gonna get in the program, I'm gonna put a link up to the test group in a second. We'll see who's the first person who gets in the test group. I always track the first person. You know how they track the first dollar when you like open a restaurant? I don't know that I, now well, let me think. Can I craft a story around an AirPod case? Eh, maybe you can. I would move on from this, but I do think somebody can. See, what sells for you might not sell for me because I'm not so passionate about it. Let me pick something that's like more interesting to me. See, electronics is not as interesting to me for whatever reason. Let's look at today's deals on Amazon. Ah, here we go. Boom, this is a good business right here. Juicers and blenders. I've never heard, this is Shark Ninja for 61 bucks. Let's go down, let's see what their Amazon rating is, their ranking is. Wow, number two in countertop blenders. Somebody's making some money right here because it's only three deep. Kitchen and dining, small appliance, oh sorry, it's four deep. <laughs> countertop, so in blenders, and most blenders are countertop blenders, it's number two. Now me, I could get excited about this product. I could get in the blender business. One. I use a blender. I have a Vitamix right over there. I have vacuum blenders at my other house. I like to make protein shakes. I like to put, you know, do juice or berries. So I could see myself get in this business. And therefore, that alone, P, pick something you have a little passion for. And some people are gonna disagree with me. They're like, no. Just sell whatever makes you the quickest money on Amazon. But I'm not trying to show you guys how to make money overnight and then never make it again because you'll spend that money and you'll lose that money. But what if I could show you how to build a brand for a lifetime that'll pay your bills while you're on vacation? That is what this program is all about. Somebody said they love their Vitamix. Somebody said they just got in. How'd they get in? Do we have the button up on our site? There's a, the links in the description. Oh, I forgot. Somebody already got in to the program. I haven't even opened it. Maybe. That's fine. That, no, that's fine. That you put, I forgot we had the links in the description. Yeah. I'm going to find your name if you're actually the first person. That is funny. I literally haven't launched the program and someone's buying it. Okay. That's not bad. Someone says, thank you for this information. Tia? Oh, more than one person's got in. All right, let's find the very first. I'm going to remember your name. Abel Gomez got in. Emmanuel Uzadoki got in. Kevin's son got in. Gilberto Garcia. I'm just scrolling down. I got a link. William Connick. Wow, a lot of people are getting in, and we haven't announced it. Okay, here's the first person is Ricardo Fialo in Tallahassee, Florida. Welcome to the Amazon Sales Blueprint program. We already got videos in there. Like we're loading up the videos in there, but I already got one good one in there from a guy who's a ninja guy. I got a video of mine, ninja. We'll have more up this weekend. Um, and you'll see, you can get the quick start program and after you get, everyone has to go into the white belt quick start program. Then you can decide if you wanna to go to the blue belt level for the full four month certification. If you really pass, dude, this opportunity, mark my words, I'm saying this on camera in 2019. Three years from now, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Even two years, even one year from now, it's gonna be hard to sell on Amazon. You know how astronomically, exponent, well, how exponentially Amazon's growing? It's wacky. I mean, it went to a trillion dollar company in the last six months, trillion. That's a thousand billion. Netflix, I mean, it, is a big company? No. Amazon, by the way, is now in the movie business. Amazon's absorbing, they own Whole Foods. Why not partner with the richest person in history and the second or first biggest company in history? It's, a, it's like pretty much a lay down formula. Now, you can mess it up. I'm not guaranteeing you're gonna make money because a lot of people don't know what they're doing. 
Oh, now YouTube's big. We got 2,500 people on YouTube. We have over 3,000 people just Instagram and YouTube. Welcome if you're just coming in. We're talking about how to sell on Amazon. Let's give another person 100 bucks. Let's talk some Amazon sales history. This is the one's gonna go fast right here. 100 bucks. What year did Jeff Bezos start Amazon? Let's go. Wholesale Direct said he is not the richest person in history. If you use time adjusted, if you, you know, use inflation adjusted, then he's not the richest. But in absolute dollars, he's the richest. Um, Sam Walton, Walmart was close. In today's dollars, if you look at someone like Rockefeller, in today's dollars had 600 billion, but back in his time, it wasn't. Mm, he's rich. Here. Okay, 96, not, let's pick someone, we already got someone who won. Let's pick someone on Facebook. Facebook, live. Someone said 1982. You know you can just Google this. How are you getting this one wrong? <laughs> Someone said 2005. Dickie Denton, Amy Reinhart? Is your name actually Dickie Denton, Amy Reinhart? It is. You gotta get an award for that name. Someone said in his garage in 2000. Nope. Shervin said, is this separate from the e-com agency? Yes. E-com agency program is how to use Shopify and Amazon and charge businesses to do their products. This is how to sell your own product. Totally different thing. Joshua Kirkland, there you go. 1994. I should have said like what day, but I don't know if he listed that. So here it is. Joshua Kirkland. 24 years ago, or sorry, 24 years old in 1994. Was he 24 years old? I didn't know that. Trying to do this quick so you guys can get onto your 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 uh, dates. You know, Zach has his Valentine's dates. He's got four dates lined up that he's juggling. He's got one. He he asked a girl to meet him from 9:15 to 9:22. Don't be late. <laughs> She's my appetizer. He said, "Don't be late. You get seven minutes with me." Um, yeah, he's just moving on through. Someone said, "Take your time." What am I talking about? Lake Room said. We're talking about how to sell on Amazon, the Amazon sales blueprint. So the first thing is that I'm telling you, and this is you're not going to hear this from any, there's a lot of people telling you how to sell on Amazon and how to sell online. Now, there's many experts. I'm not going to say I know everything. I'm not going to say me and my business partner, Alex, know everything, but we've sold a billion dollars online, a billion. That's a lot. So he sold more than me. So I'm giving you advice both for myself and my business partner. What do you have a story about? Sell that on Amazon. Ignore all the other advice because every other piece of advice, oh, hey, what's up? Every other piece of advice is what I call cigar butt. It's what Warren Buffett calls cigar butt advice. It means you see an extra cigarette or cigar that somebody else smoked it's on the ground and you get it and you get one puff out of it and then you have to throw it away. So if you catch a trend at the very end that you're not that passionate about, you're gonna make money for one month, two months, three months, but then once you lose the passion and once the trend goes away, you don't have the energy, you don't have the story to keep the brand going. Here, come over here. Come, you, we, you can be an audience member. We need more audience members. Go, go around that way, just go right there, yeah. Okay, um, basic, uh, let's see. Is it a one-time payment? Yeah, for the test group, for the quick start, yep, is a one-time payment. Someone said, how come you're not a billionaire if you sold a billion online? It doesn't quite work that way. <laughs> it doesn't quite work that way, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Should you stop drop shipping, Zach Hopkins? Good question. 100 bucks for a smart question. Zach, here, I'm gonna just screenshot it, or you can grab it, it's on Insta. Should you stop drop shipping? So there's, there's other ways people sell online. You can sell online with a Shopify. You can sell online on your own WordPress site. You can also sell online with like um, uh, an affiliate program. You can sell digital stuff. You can sell your music online, but drop shipping is where basically a lot of drop shippers, you buy stuff out of China and you get it for like four cents and you sell it here for like four bucks. And it takes a long time, it comes across the ocean 
and people get their stuff 40 days later. Now I'm oversimplifying what drop shipping is because there's drop shipping just means you don't have the warehouse yourself. Now, if you do on eBay, for example, eBay is where you like got the stuff in your closet and you package it up in FedEx and you mail it to people. You're the one doing the fulfillment. When you do Amazon, you're letting Amazon fulfill it. You're letting Amazon take the credit cards. Remember, Amazon has hundreds of millions of credit cards on file. So I like, if you ask me, everybody should partner with the biggest company in history or the second biggest company in history. Why wouldn't you? Like, what product would you not want to be on it? I see clothing brands not, like Gucci. I was trying to get something Gucci or whatever. It was a present for somebody. I go to Amazon. Just, I'll show you. Watch this. I think this is stupid of Gucci. And these big brands, I think, are going to either change or go broke. Okay, so I wanted to buy something real conveniently, meaning I didn't want to have to enter my credit card. I was like walking around, and I wanted to just, boom, buy it. I go to Gu I go, okay, let me get some, it was like a Gucci belt or something. This was a present a year ago. Let's see if Gucci's on Amazon. So you go to Gucci, you put in Gucci belt, and it up comes Kamuki woman shirt. It's like, it, there's no category, it's bizarre. And I know, oh, it's because, sorry, I'm in gardens, that's why. <laughs> That will explain. You have to click over here on the Amazon logo. Be careful of that, because every once in a while you'll be like, wait a second, there's no belts. Gucci belt. Now Gucci might have gotten, I haven't looked recently, but let's see. Ah, they're up on here. So let me pick a different brand. What's a brand you like? Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss sack? You like Hugo yeah. Boss? No, it just came to mind. I don't, I don't think they're still using Boss. <laughs> Victoria's what about Secret? Yeezys? All right, somebody said Yeezys. Dun, dun, dun. There you go, Adidas is smart. Let me pick another one. What brand was it? You wear, you wear Supreme, Zach? Uh, no, I do not. You're not a big, yeah, Supreme, let's not even use Supreme. What's a brand you like? Oh, how about, how about, I know one, Dolce. I think it was Dolce, now that I think about it. I don't think it was Gucci. Sorry, I got confused with all these Italian names. It was like a Dolce jacket. I got this badass jacket I found in London. I'm like, I'm gonna buy another one. Damn it, they're up here too. All right, this case exercise, I gotta remember what brand is, there's a lot of brands that are not on Amazon. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton? And what I was gonna say is, I know why, they're greedy. They want people to go to their website. The problem is customers don't wanna put in their credit card on a new website. Have you ever gone to a new website and then you gotta like put in your card and you're like, hell no. If I can find it on Amazon, that's a lot of people's perspective right now. If they can't find it on uh, Amazon, they'll just not buy it. And so the future of buying things online is probably gonna be a ton. There we go. Okay, so Louis Vuitton is not on here so much, I don't think. Let's see. You'll know because you'll see a replacement bag. Here, okay, thank you. Who said Louis Vuitton? Me. No, that was Josh. <laughs> so when someone wants Louis Vuitton, you go here, and you see Daisy Rose right there. Nydia Carmen, Melka, Envy, which is fine. That's actually good for them because some people will be so desperate for a Louis Vuitton bag, they're just like, I'm just gonna buy this. But notice, Louis Vuitton is not on here. This is a mistake for Louis Vuitton. As I told you, in the last couple months, these other brands, or the last year, these other brands have get on there. Let's go to Louis Vuitton website in general. This is what Louis Vuitton wants you to do. And this is why I'm telling you, you want a partner with Amazon. They want you to go to this website right here. Enter your credit card in. Notice that Louis Vuitton doesn't even have a search bar at the top. So it's not a great, people are used to Amazon. On Amazon, you just go here, you, everybody knows where the search bar is. Jeff Bezos is very smart. He made a very long and prominent search bar. 
Now, I come to Louis Vuitton. I'm not used to this website. I just want to buy one purse for somebody, a gift, okay, for Zach, for his Valentine date. He has four Valentine's date. He, want, he asked me to get him four Louis Vuitton purses. When uh -oh. you date Zach, no, Zach's like, yeah, Zach goes, go to Louis Vuitton and get me Daisy Rose. <laughs> Just swap out the emblem. I know a dude, <laughs> this guy that I know, I used to own nightclubs. This dude used to buy Corvettes. And he told me, he said, girls don't know what a Ferrari is. So he would buy the Ferrari emblem on like eBay and he would swap it out. He said, no, but he said he even did it once on a Saturn. He said he would just tell girls like, yeah, hey, I got this Ferrari. And girls like, woo, this is so nice. <laughs> he went for years finessing people with that thing. So there are, there is a market for people that are going to buy the Daisy Rose perch, a little clutch there. And then Zach's going to swap it out with Gucci and uh, Louis Vuitton and give it to these girls that he doesn't really like. I'm going to try that Ferrari trick with my Lambo. <laughs> you can try that Ferrari trick with your Lambo? Yeah, yeah. That wouldn't really help you. <laughs> he didn't take his Bugatti and take it off and put an Audi thing on. Okay. Anyway, uh, so point being, Louis Vuitton is behind the curve. Nobody wants to go by here. I guarantee you they're leaving on the table 10 to 50 million bucks a year. Look at this website. You can't even search. You got to go to women and then go over to handbags. People want to type in words. Then I go to handbags, all handbags, New this season, monograms. So let's say I go through this whole process. Then I have to go through here, click never full MM. I got to click on this. Then look, I got to pick, oh man. So let's say I got, I got my colors. Then I place in cart. Then I go here to my shopping bag. They don't even call it cart. They're so bougie. It's my shopping bag, <laughs> my <laughs> online shopping bag. Okay, so I go to my online shopping bag. Great. Now I got to do but all this stuff. I've already entered in Amazon. I already have my address. I got to, who here loves entering addresses? Like when you're busy, you're like, you know what I want to do? I want to re-enter my credit card and I want to re, I want to type, practice my typing skills. See Louis Vuitton, you guys, if you're listening, you crazy, you're dumb. And I haven't even gotten into their social media. <laughs> Let me look at their social media. Cause I'm worried. All these big brands are so whack when it comes to social, not all of them, a few of them, most of them. Okay, here's Louis Vuitton. Are you kidding me? That can't even be right. Oh, I thought they had an underscore in their name. Let's look at Louis Vuitton. This is a whole nother service for those of you in my e-com um, agency. All right, they got 30 million followers. Not bad, right? 30 million followers. Their video that they posted three days ago, 248,000 views. That's it with 30 million followers. You know how bad that engagement is? That means they're posting garbage. My last video, let's see. I only have 3 million followers. So I have a tenth of the followers as them. And I had, this is just not even a good post, just a random one. I got 530. So I have a tenth of the followers, but I have double the engagement. So Louis Vuitton, yes, people follow them, but nobody cares about them. Because look, their page is dumb. It's, it's, it's not. You know, I do giveaways, and then you know how much Louis Vuitton has sitting in the warehouse they can't sell because there's a little problem with it? I'd be giving it away. Giving it away. Remember Oprah? She's like, you get a car. You get a car. Or was it a house she gave away? Cars, I think. Cars. Cars. People still remember when she did that. She gave the whole audience a car. Louis Vuitton, imagine if they had it. Imagine right now, Louis Vuitton. This is, by the way, I'm training those of you in my social media marketing and my e-com agency. Walk into businesses, literally do what I'm doing right now. Show them how big brands are stupid. Find somebody locally that has a, a nice, they design handbags, they design jewelry. Say, I'll put you up on Amazon. So you guys can not only do this for your own product, but you can do it for other businesses. Charge them 10 grand. Charge them a 10 grand setup fee. When you get your first check for $10,000, what got me as to be an entrepreneur is my first check for 10 grand. I was like 22 and it wasn't a check. A guy wired me from New Zealand, a 10,000. I did one day of work for him. He wanted me to research where to buy land in the United States. I told him Missouri. I wrote a one page doc because I knew about land. I had traveled a lot around the world. Uh, by that age, I tra started traveling young. And I, the guy goes, here, here's my consultative. I pay all my consultants 10 G's. 
When you become a consultant, that's a whole nother world. So another reason to learn Amazon that I'm teaching you right now is you could do it for your own products, but then you start doing it for everybody else. Louis, somebody should get this Louis Vuitton account. This is stupid. This ain't gonna work. Look, now I gotta press proceed. So now I proceed. Watch what they're gonna do. Probably the world's worst checkout page. What did I tell you? Oh no. Now you gotta make an account. What's the other thing nobody wants to do? Make an account. Come from your email. They do give you a guest checkout. Creating a My LV account will enable you to track your online order. Nobody wants a My LV account. Put it yourself on Amazon, people. Oh my goodness. Look at this beautiful form. They ask for your company name. Why do they need your never put any field you don't need because it bugs people. Company name. Postal code. Don't say that. Detect what country they're in. See, they know you're in the US. I'll show you a little ninja trick. They detected my IP address that I'm in the US. But they put postal code. Do we say postal code in America? That's the UK. That's Europe. If you go up to somebody, yo, where's your po what postal code is this? People are going to be like, what? It's zip code. We're in America, Louis Vuitton. It's a 330 million person country. It is a country with a GDP of almost $20 trillion. You may want to customize your form. It's not like a small Azerbaijan country or Micronesia where you're like, ah, forget it. We'll just put postal code. These guys aren't smart enough to change their form. Woo, genius. Um, then you got to add another phone number. OK, so you can do a message. Now, what does Amazon Prime do for you? It gets you stuff for free delivery. Do people like to pay delivery fee? No, it's psychological. So now you get to pay your delivery fee. Um, and then, you know what's funny? It says, will not deliver. They just want you to know when it won't deliver. <laughs> they don't tell you when it's going to deliver. Louis Vuitton, come on, you guys are a good brand in terms of quality goods. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna roast you on your goods, but your website was built, was, is this a contract you gave your brother or something? You got like a little brother who <laughs> never could succeed in life, so they're like, okay, man, I feel bad for you. I'll give you 50 Gs to make, make my website. Make sure you, make sure, brother, that you, you tell people when it won't deliver by, because that's really gonna make, that's how you make money. When people buy stuff, be like, I want you to know, you're not going to get it on the 13th. You ain't going to get it on the 14th. You just could list all the days up to when they're going to get it. It's like negative. And then you put your email, and then it, oh, it's everything wrong. So once people fill out this monstrosity, which, oh, why do you need title? In America, you don't need title. And you shouldn't ask because of all the gender stuff. People don't want to put, don't ask about gender, man. If you can get away with it, unless you're selling like, you know, gynecological stuff. Then you can ask people if you're doing pregnancy kits or something. But why do you need to know if I'm a mister? Zach's a mister. He's going to get a purse. Where are you, Zach? He left. Oh, he went on his first yeah. Valentine date. OK, does this make sense? I just want you to know, growing up, I grew up not around people who made money. No one ever made a million bucks in my family um, that I know of. And if any of you are long lost out there, please come and let me know, but I didn't know. I thought big brands knew what they were doing. I thought trillion dollar companies knew what they were doing. Nope, or billion dollar companies. They should be on Amazon. Emoji Matt said, I didn't get my PayPal cash yet. Hold on, Emoji Matt. You get your money. What'd you win like two days ago? You'll get it. I told you PayPal locked my account. All you people are gonna get your money, but wait a second. It's free money, so don't complain too much. So I'm telling everybody now, give me three to five business days. If you win, I'll send you your money. You know how much money I've given away? So don't, yeah. You said you won five days ago. Three to five business days. Three to five business days. Also, if you can give us, see Venmo, Venmo's owned by PayPal, which sucks. We started mailing checks to people. PayPal locked two of my accounts for doing too much giveaways. That's another genius company, PayPal. I'm not even going to roast PayPal, but PayPal got to be. This thing is run. Woo, PayPal. They're probably going to see this video and block me. I'll never <laughs> be able to use PayPal again. I'll be having to use Passenger Pigeon to get people their money. <laughs> fly. Fly to Emoji Matt. He lives in Washington State. Um, somebody said, why are you crying when he already gave you free money? Okay, don't worry, Emoji Matt. We'll get you the money. We'll get you the money. 
Now, so product number one, by the way, because I'm not, I gotta go in a little bit, I'm gonna put a link below. If you wanna get in the test group, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna raise the price every day for the next five days. Why? Because I'm gonna reward the people who get in first. And I'm, I got the price set too low right now. So it's set too low. I'm gonna keep it low for the next 24 hours. And then I'm gonna raise it tomorrow. Then we'll raise it the next day. And yeah. People say, why do you do that? I don't know. Why does Amazon have freaking Valentine specials? And then they raise the price. Because it's normal. It's a good way to incentivize people to take action because people are lazy. We all are. We're all procrastinate. Oh, I just got logged out of Amazon. I'm going to log in with yours. Can I buy some stuff? Sure. Since it's logged in. Where's that Gucci? <laughs> oh, look. Amazon blocked us now. Oh, Amazon, I'm not even roasting you. I think Amazon, here, can you come do this? I think Amazon is got a message from PayPal. 192644. Oh, one, two, two, six, four, four. Okay. Da -da -da. So you should see a link below on my site, or you can go to, what's the generic link they can go to? Amazon Live. If you want to learn how to sell products on Amazon, catch the wave, tylopez.com slash Amazon Live, or click the link like that's in your YouTube, Facebook, all that description. We've got 3,000 people watching on YouTube, 2,100 on Insta, over 5,000 people. I haven't even looked. Poor Facebook. I never look at. There's like three people left. Oh, there's a couple hundred. Twitter. Twitter, how many? 75 viewers. <laughs> never been a fan. I, if you want to ask me the best social media platforms to build, Instagram and YouTube. Especially Instagram's new TV features, the new, 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 new thing they rolled out, which has previews, I like a lot. Okay, so step number one. Where's that printout? Did Rick ever give me that? Um, no, no, no. Rick, did you die? He's in the bathroom. I said, hey, can you print something out for me? He goes, I'm going to make you a 3D model. <laughs> Thanks, Rick, for printing that out before you went to the bathroom. Um, it's in the chat, right? I can just pull it up. So here's the step-by-step -step plan to making money on. All right, here we go. Rick, thank you. She said you were in the bathroom. We'll go with that. <laughs> okay. He. Oh, no, no, not that. What he has. The video. The Can you tell him what it is? I will use this. So product selection, and then you got to talk about where to source the product. you got to source the product. So you have to research and select it, and then you have to source it. In general, in an ideal situation, you want to get about a thousand of something. Okay? If you have no money and you're super poor, you can get by with less money and less inventory. But I'm just telling you the ideal situation. And it doesn't cost that much money, especially if you're selling a low priced product. It doesn't have to be expensive. Okay? So someone said, when is the first lesson live? They're going to be live uh, in like a. Right one's up now, already in, and one will be up in a couple hours. We're all done tonight. Everything is going to be up. The second one will be up in like. Yeah, we'll have two, and then we're shooting some more this weekend. So that's why I got the price lower, by the way. Somebody said, you look cool, man. Thank you. Would you like to be my Valentine? No, I'm just joking. I don't know who that is. Oh, it's a couple. That's a picture of a couple. Oh, you never know. Uh, Zach, where'd you go? We've been talking about... Well, who has questions? Uh, let me. Oh, let me read the names of people who got in. Who is in the program? We got the names of the first people, right? I wrote it down. It's stored here. Who else is getting in the AM? I'm gonna read your name. We got Carlos Henriquez, Ethion Corian, Lawrence, Harrison Gordon. We got Canada in the, here. We got Edward Fox, Mario, or Maria Guerrero, Adam Ackley. Travis Goodrich. Now remember, there's a quick start crash course program. It's a 10 day program. I recommend all of you get that, but also get the full program, okay? Which is a four month certification. Um, so we set the price uh, 
low today for the quick start crash program just because we don't have all the videos uploaded so we're giving you a chance they'll be in here in the next couple of days but you should get the full four month program because amazon's a little bit tricky i'm gonna be honest there's simpler things but not many things as powerful so if you want the simplest business to start you should start a social media marketing agency or an e-com agency if you want a little more but those have limitations see here's the beauty for those of you in my SMMA program, I think it's over 30,000 of you in my program in 190 countries. You should get in here because here's why. Let me show you something that I talked about in front of 24,000 people two weeks ago at Grant Cardone's 10X. So here's the formula that I follow in order to create multiple streams of income. I have over 15 streams of income, diversified streams of income. So some are real estate, some are online brands, some are on offline brands, some are physical products, some are digital products, some are educational like you're seeing now, and some have nothing to do with education, okay? So here's the formula. Basically, I'm not gonna do the whole formula. Those of you ever get in my advanced stuff, I'll give you a very complex formula for creating financial security. And it's not a cheesy one, it's a very advanced one. It's one that you know I've taught at London Business School, number two business school in the world. They asked me to speak at Harvard, number one business school in the world. So this is not stupid stuff. I'm not a professor there by any means, but I was asked, I was the keynote speaker for the London Business School, which is number two in the world, uh, for their entrepreneur conference. So this kind of stuff that I'm teaching you is legit stuff I would teach at Harvard, London Business School. I've taught at USC. And this is what an abbreviated one, what you wanna do is you wanna have A1, plus A2, okay, plus P1, plus P2. And over here you wanna have, okay, here you wanna have what's called a PSB. These should be PSBs, and this should be ISPs. PSB stands for personal service brands, so that would be like a social media marketing agency. You could have more than one stream of income, you could have different products you offer, but eventually for passive income, or we could call this semi-passive, SP, they're not fully passive. Fully passive income is something you build later in life. I'm going to be honest with you. Once you start making seven figures, you can, figure, you can do a full passive income. But uh, just say somewhat, semi-passive. You want to build what's called an infinitely scalable product or ISB if you're going to build a brand. So you have a PSB, then you add an ISB. Those of you who have a social media marketing agency or e-com agency or an Airbnb agency and you're in my training program, the downside is you can only do so much work in a day. In order to get more money, you have to get another client. The pros of that is you can have no experience, just a laptop, you could be 18 years old or 50 years old, you can walk into a business and get a client because there's not enough people who know how to do digital marketing. Fact, big schools are rolling out digital marketing programs because the demand has it far outstripped the supply, okay? And so we've been teaching, I've been teaching people with digital marketing since, since really 2014. 2015 is when I really ramped it up. So I've trained over 280,000 people in my paid programs. That's more than any university has done ever in digital marketing. I've done myself. So when I say I know what I'm talking about, it's like I actually have done it. Now, what Amazon allows you to do, think of this. Let's say one of your products on Amazon. You go through the program. You go through the four-month certification program, okay? I'm not gonna click on your browsing history, Yousef. <laughs> I, don't, I don't wanna know. Um, Alma. Um, hold on one second. Okay, so Let's just look here on Amazon. Let's just put in electronics or something. Let's say you decide to build an electronics brand with a story like I was talking about, not just something that you can sell one off real fast. Uh, let's pick headphones. You try to, you're gonna sell, not everybody can afford Beats by Dre. So let's say you're gonna sell, you're gonna get a thousand in inventory and you're gonna get something on Amazon and you're gonna build an ISB, an infinitely scalable round. Here's the cool thing. Or let's pick, no, let's pick this blender that I had, this Ninja Professional, okay? So you could be a reseller or you could come up with your own blender. What you do, let's say you had a thousand in inventory. Let's say it goes viral. Let's say some influencer just likes your Ninja 
um, professional countertop blender, you're asleep, let's say. You're literally asleep. They're, they live in London, a different time zone. They put a video of them using this blender. They don't even realize that they're promoting you, but people see the ninja thing. Where's the first place people go search for products in the world? More than Google. Amazon. So they go to Amazon. You're asleep. You've got 1,000 in inventory in the Amazon warehouses, so they're handling the shipping. They type in Ninja Blender, 64 bucks. Or sorry, this one's 99. This is a more expensive version. So they go there, 99 bucks. Their number one influencer on YouTube, they watch, bought it. So they just type in Ninja Blender. They press, look how quickly you can buy on Amazon. I mean, we all know that. I don't even have to show this. They have a buy now button. You don't even have to press confirm shop cart. I won't buy you the blender, Yusef, okay? <laughs> so they buy it. You're asleep. Ten units go out. Ten units go out. This $99 blender, I guarantee you, cost them more, no more than 30 bucks. Their costs, okay? So let's say all in costs, shipping, all that, Amazon, blah, 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 is 30 bucks. You, you net 70 bucks, 10 units while you're sleeping, 700 bucks. Did you work at all for that? Did you have to work harder? Nope, smarter, smarter. So you now have a passive income, semi-passive income source that's infinitely scaling. Everybody should have one of these, even if you have an SMM agent, you see, even if you have another business. Why would you not want to throw your hat in with the largest Com retail store in history. They dwarf Walmart. Somebody said, Ty, you're a great teacher. Thank you. You're a great student. All right, I got to go in a couple. How much time left we got on you, Insta? Um, Adam's Eight asking. You should push it. Yeah, have him push it to 10 15. Um, video game. All you gamer fans, why don't you have, I mean, all you gamers out there, why don't you have some product on Amazon? Either reselling someone else's product or sell, coming up with a new idea. While you sleep, it, some gamer uses it, a hat, a seat cushion, whatever. He mentions it, she mentions it, you wake up, 700 units sold in a week. Even if you only make five bucks, 700 times that, 3,500 bucks. You know how many people are doing this as we sleep? Shark Ninja, I guarantee you this is a new entrepreneur. I guarantee you they haven't been in the game 30 years even before Amazon. Let me just look up, let's look up Shark Ninja, this brand. This is probably some kid who's living in Bali, living the life. I know a lot of these drop shippers. They're just like, la, la, la. Okay, right here, Shark Ninja. Formerly Euro Pro. 2003, now, 2003, 2003. But how long do you think they've been doing digital stuff? I bet you they weren't on Amazon 10 years ago. I bet you they weren't on Amazon five years ago. They were just some Shark Ninja, because it says formally another company. Formally EuroPro Operating LLC. Here's the beauty. I bet some of you could start selling Shark Ninja's products. Possibly. Sometimes you can white label it or another thing to do. This blender stuff, I guarantee you, you could come up with a better blender than Shark Ninja. Somebody out there has an angle on Shark Ninja that Shark Ninja doesn't have. Because these are cheap, 87 bucks. So that's a low price one. Um, Vitamix is competing with them and is a better quality one. There's always room for a Ferrari and a Prius level. So you make the Prius version of this. See, Vitamix this is what I have. Is a 300, these are 379 So Shark Ninja went in at the low price product. You know how many people go, Ty, what business should I be in? I'm like, look around your house. You got pillow cushions. You got ear pods. You've got pens. You have monitors, and then there's accessories for monitors. Why aren't you profiting from this? I don't even understand it. We live in a world people are just letting other people make money. Forget Shark Ninja. You can beat Shark Ninja. That doesn't mean nothing. Don't ever be intimidated. I was at a basketball game yesterday. I went to the Knicks game, if you saw my Instagram live. I, my, one of my buddies is a banker, so we went there. We sat right. Uh, Zach, you missed this game, man. We were sitting. You see where we had the seat? My favorite seat on the baseline is Smith. Dennis Smith Jr., NC State, um, Ben Simmons, uh, uh, no, not LSU. Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons is LSU. Oh, uh, Embiid, Duke? No, I know, Embiid, Simmons. There's two Simmons on Philly. What's the other Simmons? Yeah, there's two Simmons. It's confusing. 
Mr. Simmons, <laughs> yeah, Mr. and Mr. Um, anyway, so I'm sitting there, right? I'm sitting on this thing, and I'm thinking, all these people are watching. I'm watching. The game's televised. Everybody's watching. A lot of pressure, right? There's this one kid, Treyer, new kid, second year in the NBA. Not a big guy. This guy is as scared of nobody. I love this guy. Mark my words. Treyer is going to be a real player in his league if he doesn't get injured. Because he looks at somebody like Vitamix or Shark Ninja, and he's like, I don't care. I'm coming right at you. And you know what? He was the high scorer in the game. And then the coach, I think the Knicks are trying to tank. I don't understand. The Knicks coaching, whoo. Yeah, they, want, uh, Zion. They, they want Zion Williams. They're, they're trying to lose because they, Treyer, the game's tied. Treyer's in the game, high scorer. He took him out for the rest of the game. Two quarters, basically, he was out, one and a half. So they're trying to lose. But my point being, this Treyer guy, he comes, he scores 19 points. He comes straight at Embiid, who's this big seven-foot dude. Blocks his shot, right? The next time he comes back and goes straight at him. So Embiid is these big brands. Don't be afraid of Louis Vuitton. Go straight at him. Make your own brand. <laughs> Make your own purse. You can design as good a purse as Louis Vuitton. You think they're somewhat special? It's like Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is not the best soda ever created. I've had homemade sodas that people make. Homemade root beer is better. Don't be afraid of Whole Foods. Make your own food business. I'm going in the food business. So. Jonathan Davis. Oh, no, Simmons. Jonathan Simmons is the other guy. Okay. I got to go. Instagram's about to. So I just wanted to announce there's a lot more. I'm going to try to go live tomorrow. But the best way to get in this, go in the 10-day crash course. It's the white belt version of this. You can start learning today from, we got multiple teachers. And then we have a, thank you, Rick. We have a four-month program that you can also get access to. You'll see when you get in the crash course, it'll ask you, do you also want to get in the four-month certification? Just say yes. Okay? I mean, it's pretty simple. Now, people ask, well, why do I have to pay? Just imagine your alternatives. You want to learn digital? You want to learn Amazon? You can go, maybe you can find some weird university that has this. You're going to learn from a professor who's not selling on Amazon, never sold online. Four years to get a digital marketing degree. Most schools are charging ten to 20000 a year. You're going to drop fifty dollars to $100,000 a year in four years of your life. Give me four months. Four months. Four months. You can do four years. That's your alternative. And drop fifty grand. i am not going to charge you fifty grand. i am not even going to charge you five grand. Okay? So click the link below or go to Ty Lopez. I'm going to let you guys go early because it's Valentine's. TyLopez.com slash Amazon Live. I'm going to read a few more names, and i got to give away. How much more money? How many winners? 600? Yeah, I got four winners. i got to give away $600 real quick. How much time we got? Uh, just a little over two minutes. Who wants $600? One person's about to get 600 You can also reply on my Snapchat, or you can do it on the lives. Or you can comment on Instagram. Right. Do, do, do. Who wants 600 bucks right now? People say people don't even have five grand in their pocket. That's right. That's why I ain't charging five grand. That's what I just said. Let me read the names of a few people who just got in the test group. We got Gabriel Hernandez, Michael Castro, David Banwet in Ocean Park, Washington. LaVon Woods in Arlington, Virginia, Tommy Arada in Santa Ana, Shervin Mohammadadian in Toronto, Paris, Kentucky, Caleb Hicks, Juan Leva, Platte City, Missouri, Long Beach, California, where I was born, Carlos Hare Henriquez, Ethan Corion in, in the UK, Dagenham, Harrow, UK. By the way, last thing I'm gonna say, if you live outside the US, especially if you live in a third world country or anywhere, you could sell on Amazon and make money in American dollars and then bring it back to your country and live like a king or a queen. 600 bucks, here we go. One winner, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. I mentioned this before, okay? What does ISB stand for? ISB or ISP. What's it stand for? 600 bucks. I'm gonna reward people who pay attention. If you don't pay attention, you ain't gonna win nothing. Instagram's got 30 seconds to answer. Here we go, 30 seconds. Somebody said, gimme, gimme. That's not the right answer. <laughs> what does ISB stand for? I put it right here. 
ISB. What's this stand for? Oh, it's on the next page. ISB. Infinite service brand. No, you're so close. Here. No, it's even it past. There it is. Dylan Luna on YouTube. You got to, Dylan, YouTube's a pain in the butt. Instagram. Put your ins put your email address in Dylan Luna. If you want the 600 bucks, I need an email address because I can't message you on YouTube. Dylan Luna. Just keep going. Just keep. No, 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 no. Don't, don't restart Instagram. Just keep the other ones going. 600 bucks is going to Dylan Luna. Click the link below. I'm not just giving away money. Learn to make your own money. I'm going to show you how. I got badass teachers that are going to teach you in this program. It's not just me teaching you. Infinite service brand, uh, infinite scalable brand was the correct answer. Dylan Luna is the first one I saw. Good news, you didn't win today, thousand bucks tomorrow I'm doing. I'm going live tomorrow, do not miss it. Tomorrow, Friday, do not miss it, thousand dollars I'm giving away. I might even give away two thousand, but I'm not gonna promise that. I'm gonna promise a thousand. Get in the quick start program. I will see you guys and uh, talk to you soon.